this video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on departmental accounts. I wish to solve one sum here before you on departmental accounts. Observe the sum on the screen. This is the sum. This is the sum which I intend to explain and solve here before you. A firm has two department cloth and ready-made clothes. The ready-made clothes were made by firm itself out of the clothes supplied by the cloth department at a usual selling price. So goods are transferred from cloth department to ready-made cloth department at the normal rate of cross profit means the rate at which the goods are sold to the outsider the same rate of profit is charged for internal transfer from cloth department to ready-made cloth department so when this is the situation to find out the stock reserve at the end of the year suppose a cloth is being transferred from cloth department to ready-made department and that out of that cloth ready-made garments are prepared but those ready-made garments are unsold at the end of the accounting period. So at the end of the accounting period, when there is an unsold stock in this ready-made garment, which has an element of transfer from cloth department, there is an unrealized profit. And that unrealized profit is to be found out on the basis of normal rate of gross profit. So we shall prepare the trading account for cloth department and ready-made cloth department. We shall find out the rate of gross profit for the cloth department and on the basis of that rate of gross profit we shall find out the unrealized profit in the closing stock that's an important point opening stock three lakhs and fifty thousand now is there an element of cloth in the opening stock of ready-made clothes department the element of cloth as given to you, the stock in the ready-made cloth department may be considered consisting of 75% of the cloth. So this 50,000 is the opening stock of ready-made cloth department, which includes cloth element, 75%. And that 75% of the cloth element in this 50,000, that was transferred from cloth department to ready-made cloth department. And when it was transferred, it was at a rate of gross profit. In opening stock, the rate of gross profit for which the stock reserve exists is the rate of gross profit of the previous accounting period and you are given that the cloth department earned a gross profit at the rate of 15% in the year 1516. So this 15% is the rate of gross profit is to be applied to find out the stock reserve in the opening stock, stock reserve in the opening stock because this is the rate of gross profit of the previous year 1516. And at present, we are going to account for 1617. So we shall find out the rate of gross profit from by preparing trading account for the current year. And the stock reserve will be worked out at the found out rate of gross profit for the current year. This is an important point that students should understand. Now let me start with this. So this is the details of the sum given to me. I am required to prepare departmental trading and profit and loss account for the year ended on 31st of March 2017. I write the opening stock total recorded in the total column, so like 50,000. Purchases, 20 lakhs and 15,000. Total in the outer column. Sales recorded in the credit side of trading account, total 26 lakh 50,000. Transfer, debit the receiver, credit the giver, 3 lakhs debit, credit. Manufacturing expenses debited to ready-made cloth because ready-made clothes are produced out of cloth in this department. Sales expenses I am going to record in my profit and loss account. Let me write down the closing stock first of all. Now I find the gross profit. So 27 lakhs minus 23 lakhs, 4 lakhs. This is the gross profit of ready-made clothes. This is the total gross profit. Let me write down the gross profit to the credit side of profit and loss account. Now sales expenses are debited. The general expense given to me in the sum, which are not depart departmentalized, that will be debited to this combined profit and loss account. 
now the net profit is worked out for both the department that is transferred to general profit and loss accounts now this 459000 is recorded here on the credit side in the combined profit and loss account for both the departments now general expenses for the business as a whole 110000 that is debited to this profit and loss account now i am required to record the adjustment entry for stock reserve how much was the stock reserve in the opening stock of 50000 and how much was the stock how much is the stock reserve in this closing stock of 60000 you are told that the cloth element in opening stock and cloth element in the closing stock is 75% which has a profit element in the opening stock the profit element at the is at the rate of 15% because this is a previous years rate of gross profit i am required to find out the current year rate of gross profit on the basis of this 4 lakhs profit and at that percentage i will find out the stock reserve for the closing stock that existed in in ready made department that is 60000 let me first work out the stock reserve that is opening balance of stock reserve or profit element that existed in this opening stock of 50000 let me do that first of all so ready made cloth opening stock 50000 75% is a cloth element so cloth element 37500 which holds a profit load or there is 25 this this do not have any profit load how much is a profit load in 37500 for that you are given the percentage 15% so there is a profit load opening stock reserve 37500 into 15% that works out to be 5625 this is the opening balance of stock reserve the opening stock is sold during the year so this unrealized profit is realized during the year so it is recorded on the credit side of this general profit and loss account so 5625 is credited as stock reserve opening stock now in this closing stock 60000 there is a profit element the closing stock means stock is unsold and there is a profit element and that profit element is an unrealized profit for that you are required to create a stock reserve so this general profit and loss account is required to be debited for the profit element in the closing stock which is unrealized at the end of the accounting period now before that let me find out see the closing stock 60000 cloth element in closing stock is 75% so 60000 into 75% this is a cloth element in the closing stock which has a profit load the other items do not have any profit load so forget it now how much is the profit percentage included in this 45000 so for that i would like to find out the percentage of gross profit for the current year so how much is the sales sales to the outsider sales internal sales is 3000 total sales is 25 lakhs on this total sales of 25 lakhs the gross profit is 4 lakhs so 25 lakh against 4 lakhs is the gross profit how much for 100 so rate of gross profit is 16% so 16% profit element is there in this 45000 so 45000 into 16% so the profit element stock reserve at the end of the accounting period 45000 into 16% if you work out 7200 so you are required to create stock reserve so profit and loss account debit to stock reserve account credit 7200 this is how stock reserve is created now after that i can find out the profit overall profit total of credit minus total of debit i'll get the overall profit that works out to be 464625 minus 1,10,700. This is a profit. Or this is how this departmental trading account gets prepared. This is an important sum and well celebrated sum, frequently asked in the various professional courses. So keep in mind the important points of this sum. I have tried to explain you all these things. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to all.